<laughs> I just started recording. I swear to God, I, I, I literally just hit record and my wife is calling me as I'm not lying. <laughs> hey, what's up, dudes? Brad the Guitologist here. So there are a couple of uh, pieces of news. As some of you might know, um, a few years back, I had Boaz El Kayim come over to my house and present his Boaz One uh, electric guitar, which is a modular electric guitar. A pretty innovative design, pretty neat thing. Um, I really enjoyed our visit. I felt like we became fast friends. Um, I like Boaz quite a lot, uh, I'll be honest. Um, you know, his associate that he had at the time with him, Morris, uh, he and I kind of hit it off a little bit as well. And, uh, you know, we talked later even out of the context of Boaz and stuff on, on Facebook. And I uh, genuinely like the guy. So, you know, I, I consider the, the Boaz people friends, you know, even from this first visit. And then later on, I met Gordon and uh, felt like he and I also struck up a bit of a friendship, even though we're polar opposites when it comes to some things, uh, politics mainly, you know, we're, we're still, we get along. We realize that uh, the world is made of all stripes and we, you know, we get along with one another and uh, I, I consider him a friend as well so you can imagine how heartbreaking it was for me to find out that uh, Gordon uh, had left the Boaz team but not only left the Boaz team but left it rather acrimoniously <clears throat> recently I have not wanted to talk about or report on this situation uh, formally because um <clears throat> That would require me to um, get involved in something that has become uh, pretty negative, and uh, I just don't—I don't want the karma, and I don't want the—you know—I just don't want the negativity. Especially right now, with you know a lot of the other things that are going on in my life, I just. I don't feel like the negativity is really going to serve me in any way. So I've tried to stay out of it until now. Um, but the other day it came to my attention that <clears throat> Guitar.com had begun reporting on uh, this acrimonious split between Gordon and Boaz. And uh, we're saying that um, the guitar, the backer guitars for the Boaz Kickstarter... Uh, might not come and all this stuff kind of speculating. I, I don't have the article in front of me, so I'm I'm just sort of paraphrasing based on what I remember of the article. But essentially, they did uh, drop my name in the article as well, uh, or well, Bo, I guess Boaz did, because he and I have spoken on the phone about this m multiple times, and I've messaged him about what's going on because, you know, I mean, with their split, I've sort of become a bit of a go-between between, between Boaz and Gordon, you know, at least to some degree, because I, I still am communicating with both of them and still friendly with both, so, <clears throat> you know, I, I kind of told one what the other is saying and, and things like that, but, uh, you know, G Gordon, I, I can't, Gordon won't allow me to say anything that he uh, <clears throat> has told me. There, I, there is no, there's no way I could uh, report on any of that um, honorably because I would have to go back on the promise I made that everything he said was off the record. Uh, and furthermore, later on when I contacted him and tried to get um, his response to some of the accusations that Boaz was making about him, uh, he said that his lawyer had advised him not to comment, so he, he wasn't going to comment on any of that stuff on, on the record at all. Um, he did give me some off-the-record explanation, uh, but, you know, it still didn't quite answer the questions and address the accusation that Boaz was lodging toward him. Um, which brings me to that. Uh, Boaz has accused Gordon, uh, essentially... Of stealing funds from the company. Um, now, I'm not here to bear witness to the truth of this accusation or the untruth of the accusation. I'm just reporting on the accusation because my name has been brought into this uh, at last by Guitar.com. And furthermore, because I was one of the first people to sort of jump on board with the Boaz train, um, 
you know, my name is kind of inextricably tied to it now as somebody who backed the project kind of, you know, it, not early, early on, but you know what I'm saying, before it uh, became a Kickstarter phenomenon. So I, I fully suspect that a lot of the backers of the Boaz one will also have been viewers of my channel, which puts me in the position of, of pretty much being forced to report on this, uh, to offer up <clears throat> my views um, and, you know, so rebuttals to my name being brought into it. So in the Guitar.com article, Boaz uh, stated to the journalist that was reporting, and, and you have to understand too, English is not Boaz's first language, so um, he will often stumble over some words and this and that, but essentially what he said was was true but it made it sound like I was some kind of uh, brains behind the throne or something, and that is absolutely not true. I have no association or affiliation with Boaz One, uh, you know, or the Boaz team really at all. I just was talking to Boaz in a friendly manner one day, and uh, he told me what had happened, uh, what he was accusing Gordon of. Uh, he essentially accused him of stealing forty thousand dollars, or not returning forty thousand dollars. Uh, after he left the Boaz team. Uh, and this was money that was supposed to have been allocated for shipping of the uh, Plague guitars. That was the guitars that they came out with after the Kickstarter program had, had finished, essentially. They raised all the money from that. I think it was, what, 400, almost a half a million dollars they raised. And a lot of it, again, was from people in my audience who had seen that one video that we made, which was extraordinary, a just phenomenal response. And I was really, really happy for him at the time. But not to get sidetracked too much. Uh, so he uh, accused Gordon of, of not returning these funds that had been, were supposed to be have been allocated for shipping and payment of the, I think mainly shipping, but also some payments for the Plague guitars. These payments, according to Boaz, were made directly to Gordon, uh, directly to one of Gordon's accounts. Now, I can't confirm this because I did not order um, a Plague guitar, so I don't know where those funds were requested to have been sent. Um, Boaz claims that <clears throat> uh, some of the people who sent money were, were asked to send it to an account that Gordon controlled. Now, if any of you guys ordered plague guitars and you can confirm this i'll put my email address down in the description where you can contact me and, and let me know or just say it down in the comment that's fine you know whether or not you sent this directly to gordon or whether it was sent to a, a boaz account you know i just you know i would have to believe that that would be highly unusual if you sent it directly to gordon but um if that's what took place then i guess that's what took place but Again, I have no way of confirming any of this. Gordon has refused to comment on the situation uh, on the record, so I can't, unfortunately, I can't report on anything that he's told me. So anyway, back on the subject of uh, the Guitar.com article. So Boaz said that they had decided to focus on the backer guitars before the plague guitars now at, at the suggestion of the guitologist, me. Um... And, you know, the article went on to state it was unclear what my relationship was. Now, they never reached out to me for a comment after he made this comment. They just basically said it's unclear what my role is. I wish they had I wish they had contacted me or tried to contact me so I could have clarified that a little bit. Like, again, because Boaz, he's speaking in a second language, so it's not, you know, uh, maybe not pre as precise as it could have been. The, the only way I came into that was because we were talking about it, the situation. I said, well... I said, if Gordon, if Gordon did take the money, uh, or did, or failed to return the money, then that money was allocated for plague guitars. I said, so that money and that guitar is uh, is currently under dispute and is going to probably be under court dispute at some point in the future. Um, I said, so really, your focus has to be to start fulfilling the backer guitars, which are the guitars that you, for the money for which you do have, right? And he's like, yes, I have the money for that. He even sent me um, logs on the Boaz accounts 
just to prove to me that, you know, that, that he never received this money for the play guitars and this and that. And I said, well, it doesn't really, you can't prove a negative. I can't, you can't prove by sending me that, that you didn't get the money. So I, that doesn't really help with that. Um, you know, while it's compelling evidence, it's, it still doesn't completely disprove anything. So you see what I'm saying? You can't prove a negative in that way. So in terms of proof, I, and, but I'm not, um, the arbiter of truth here or proof. I'm just saying what has been told to me, um, and I'm kind of, again, in the middle of something that's that's really unfortunate for me to be in the middle of. I did not want this or ask for this or any of that. But, you know, but I am friends with um, Boaz and uh, friends with the team. So I, I, I feel, and also, like I said, because a lot of you guys are backers that watch my channel, I feel a, a personal responsibility to report on what I do know, which, again, isn't, isn't much, but... Um, you know, it's a little, and it is more than has been reported in, uh, media reports. So guitar, the guitar.com article, um, made it sound like may, I was some kind of mastermind behind, uh, the, the, the thing. And I'm not, uh, th this was a mistake of, of Boaz and his second language essentially. So just to, wanted to clear that part up and also, let you know what was going on with uh, the Boaz thing because I've had a lot of people ask me about um, the goings on and the the drama and everything that kind of exploded. Uh, here's Gordon calling me right now. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> I tried to start this video yesterday and got cut off. Uh, it was kind of ironic because Gordon called me in the middle of my video, which was which was strange, uh, normally would be strange, but I had texted him, um, already earlier in the day, so that, that's, that's why he had called me, but, um, I texted him because I was asking him if he was going to send me that <clears throat> Boaz, uh, number one that I was promised, uh, in the video, I'll put a link up here if you guys want to see the video, um, Boaz himself said that I could have that guitar and um, Gordon is currently in possession of it. And I, th I figured if I don't ask for it, I may never get it. So I, I did ask for it. Um, he's promised to send it a couple different times and it hasn't arrived yet. So that's what we were talking about yesterday as uh, he said he was in the middle of some other things. So, uh, but I, just, I wanted to give you the straight dope. I'm not sure where I left off yesterday when I was talking about this, but I just wanted to, um, tell you guys straight up what I what I can tell you at least and what I know uh, about the Boaz situation because you know I know for a lot of you guys it's it's personal because you are backers of the the guitar just as I am um, and that's the other thing too you know not only am I not uh, financially affiliated or otherwise really affiliated with these guys at all they're just I mean I consider them friends like I said I've met them through this process of them developing this thing and um, I, I'm just, I'm just somebody who was interested in the guitar, you know, I, I think that came through in the first video that I shot of it, that it was just like, to me, it was, it was a, you know, it was a, it, I was floored by it. It was a flooring kind of experience. It was a, a sea change, I thought, uh, potentially in the way guitars were made. And I wanted, you know, I wanted to see it to fruition and I did not want to, <clears throat> enter into a situation, and thankfully I did not uh, now, I mean, enter into a situation where <clears throat> I took a free guitar or something, you know, or, or took money or something like that, or, um, uh, you know, on the promise, or, or some kind of promise that I would get a free guitar later or something, you know, um, I, I just didn't want to enter into that kind of arrangement, you know, I, I wanted it to be strictly uh, me as a backer um, as somebody who was, you know, interested in the thing, just like many of you guys were, you know, so it was, I'm, and I'm actually, I, you know, I'm, I'm proud of that. Honestly, that was, that's the kind of relationship I wanted to maintain. Now it's, it's, um, uh, I don't know. To me, it's just an integrity thing. It's like, if I really believe in something, I should be willing to put my money where my mouth is. And, and I did. You know, I, I ordered whatever it was, the $600 package, the full package with the um, the guitar, with the upgraded bridge, 
and all of the um, modules, you know, with the various pickup, I think it was three different modules or whatever. Um, so, I mean, that's what I had ordered. But, I mean, at this point, I don't know what's going to happen uh, with the company. Boaz has, uh, I, I do have faith in Boaz, you know, I, I think he's an honest person. Uh, like I said, I've looked him in the eye, I've, sh I've shook his hand, I've had dinner with the guy. Um, I didn't detect a deceitful bone in this man's body. And on, on the contrary, I think he is a highly moral individual from what I could see. Uh, he is very, he's a very religious man as well. And I think that, uh, I think that kind of thing informs his, uh, morality for sure. You know, I don't, I don't think that he is one to, uh, ever be comfortable with just running off with anyone's money. Uh, you know, so I don't think any of you guys or me really has anything to worry about as far as any of that stuff goes with Boaz running off, you know. I do see where it's possible that he's run into some uh, financial difficulties and he may have to raise more money in order to um, ship all of the guitars or he's going to have to sell interest in the company to get all the guitars shipped because shipping is going to be a huge massive expense. He has, he says all the parts and I've seen boxes and boxes full of parts in videos and stuff that he has sent me privately. Um, I may uh, tack on some videos in, in, within this video somewhere, per, perhaps, uh, of some of the stuff that he's sent me. And he's shared some of this stuff, too, publicly, I know, on Facebook and, and, and elsewhere, I think. Um, so it's not like some big secret. But he, he does actually have the factory up and going uh, where he's going to be assembling the guitars. So he's got everything there. It's going to be very slow because he's not going to be able to hire anyone to help him. And plus... I think he's the type who wants to have his, he wants to be hands-on with everything and doesn't want to leave it up to other people who might screw it up. You know what I mean? So I think he feels like the the energy that he would put into, at least for now, uh, training, trying to train people to properly assemble these things would be better spent for him actually uh, assembling them. Even if it, you know, it's, even if he's only doing like, uh, a, a couple dozen a week or something like that, you know, I mean, it would have slowly but surely get there and we would all get our guitars that way. So, like I said, I have faith in the guy. I think he is an honest individual. I think he uh, absolutely means well. I think it's something that his name is attached to, uh, which is a big thing for him. I think it's it would be a big thing for all of us, you know, if your name was attached to something like that your own last name, you would not want to screw it up. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's like, I think he, he realizes that, um, his reputation is, is kind of inextricably now tied to this because it bears his name and it bears his vision and all of this stuff. So, um, like I said, I have every faith in Boaz. Um, I, I have heard the accusations, like I said, from, uh, there are accusations coming from Gordon. Um, that I cannot share, I cannot divulge because I gave him my word uh, that what he told me at the time was off the record. Um, I did uh, tape those conversations so that at any point if he changes his mind and he wants to divulge that stuff, he can. And all he has to do is say the word and I can release that stuff. So, um, But I, like I said, out of respect and out of journalistic integrity, I, I don't operate that way. I'm not going to start releasing shit that people have given me in good faith and confidence um, when I'm when I'm asked not to, you know. But what I can say is there have been counter allegations uh, toward Boaz, which I find, uh, frankly, I find difficult to believe some of it because it would require me to believe that Boaz had been deceitful in in one way or form or fashion. Um, Maybe not deceitful, may, I shouldn't say that, but uh, ir irresponsible to the point of um, negligence. I, I guess I should say that. Uh, but not deceitful. Uh, Gordon really didn't accuse Boaz of being deceitful in, in any way. So, um, But it, it's just, it's one of those things, man. You know, like I said, I, I've, I've been, I've found myself uh, sort of caught in the middle of it in a place I did not want to be. And it's, uh, it's just really unfortunate. 
So anyway, that's the that's the story with the Boaz stuff. The other stuff I wanted to talk to you about, if, if you guys just came for the Boaz stuff, then you can kind of click off here. I can say that I maybe don't know how to run a Kickstarter campaign or crowdfunding. I can say that maybe I don't know how to get the more done or control the coronavirus. I can say that I don't know how to put the files and, and communicate with the Chinese and all the mold masters. Shipping, handling, it's big. It's a big operation. But one thing I, I, I know that all of you know that I know, it's how to make guitar. And we are at the time that now I do what I do the best, which is making guitars. So you guys need to trust me on that. I know that the skeptic will start saying, hey, behind you it's a Photoshop. You know what, take the camera. Just let's go around. I want to do it in one shot so they don't say, hey, 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 hey. Just take the camera. All right. Yeah, here. I'm going to move the parts, those thousands of parts. Them. I'm not going to explain each one what because there's so many of them. Yeah. Um, neck, more necks. You know, if I don't move them all, people will say, no, those are empty boxes. Yeah. I'm laughing, but it's a little bit sad. Yeah. Not those. all of you. There's some good angels. What is this part? It's uh, fingerboards, right? That, that's fingerboards, yeah. That, those are fingerboards. Fingerboards yeah. with headstock. All of them. All of them. And they're real. Bodies. Of course, it's more bodies. I'm not, I don't need to take them all now. Yeah. There's silicon parts to avoid noisy. Yeah. Um, the finger. The famous finger. Yeah. I'm going to take a few of them, so you don't say I put one or two. More fingers. I'm going to take a few of them, so they don't say I take one or two. Uh, sh show us so we can understand what part it is. This is the finger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the one that is on the headstock. Yeah. yeah. Um, more metal parts, and more and more and more. Screws. Yeah, the, those, are, those are the parts before. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. There's, there's no need to. Um, well, we start now assembling the, the cure, the, the, the main part of the, the guitar. Um, that's, of course, going to be in that room. Yeah. No, that's the machine room. That's the machine room. That's where all the dirty stuff happened. And, uh, dripping and the heating and there's more room of uh, um, curing. There's a process here. And it's not just happened by himself, of course. It's heavy. So it's not just a plastic guitar no. getting out of a tank no, of no, plastic. No. There is accuracy to, to tolerance of crazy tolerance here. Uh, fret job, finding the frets. Yeah, we don't put the frets. Um, but there's a, there's a process here. I'm not, I, I don't need to review it, but this, this guitar is just not going to appear just like that. Yeah, it's not going to appear just like that. Look at that. So, um, now I'm going to start doing what I do best. And I'm not going to give dates because it's going to make things complicated. You guys are waiting, and I can understand that uh, there's not enough patience. But there's nothing else we can do. Uh, it takes what it takes, and when it's happened, it will happen. And I can only supply you with good news from now on. The tough part are behind us. And now, only good news. And. Uh, you guys on the safe side. That's all I can say. I do affect by the negativity. I cannot lie that I am not. But I cannot focus on that. I need to keep on and, and, and do the right thing and do what the guitar needs. 
and not to spend my, my day on, on the internet, which I'm very bad at. You probably guys know it by now. If I spend an hour a month, it's too much. So those are the few minutes that I'm willing. Be good and stay tuned. Thank you, boss. Absolutely.